Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly, Director's Cut, as it says there on the top screen. So, uh, a few things have changed since we've last played the game. Uh, I had to replay through the entire game, because, as you know, my Xbox has been crashing like absolute madness. Uh, so, I've reinstalled all the software, bought a new hard drive, uh, reinstalled the game. And I transferred my save files over, but for some reason, um, some of my saves transferred over and some of them didn't. So doing a little bit of digging, I think some save games for certain games on the Xbox are locked to the hard disk and can't... It's, it's really complicated. It's not like you can, like the PS2, where you can just throw in a memory card and be done with it, which is a really convenient nice system um, unfortunately so I even have a Xbox original memory card and yeah some games aren't compatible with it uh, t ridiculous anyway so we've played us our way all the way back up to where we were I believe we're back up to where we were um, I did stream some of this uh, to discord which was really fun and I can't believe my internet actually held up so we lost the camera in the last episode uh, it's been like I don't know three weeks Nah, it couldn't have been three weeks uh, yeah about two weeks since I've properly played this game uh, at least played any further I mean I've replayed all the way through this game and you know what replaying this game again from start to here was so much fun. I really, really do like this game. Um, so, let, I'll just show you the camera. I don't, I can't remember if there's much here that's different. Uh, probably some things are different. I have missed a couple of ghosts, I think, that I got before. And I have, um, I, th I might have found one or two extras. Not sure. Um, but here we go. Anyway, so obviously we found the camera which is the bit we was on last time. So let's get back to it. Uh, I have played, at least I think I've played, uh, significantly better this time through, just because I'm used to the game's mechanics a little bit more. Whether that's reflected in our health items, I'm not 100% sure. So we've got like type 14 film. Uh, got type 61 film, type 90 film, zero film, with 17 herbal medicines and five sacred waters. Uh, is that the same that we had before? I don't know. Or it's, it's at worst, it's similar. Uh, files, I believe I have all of the files that we found before. I think so. Um, Photos, memos, I think so. I, obviously, these are highlighted as new because I haven't actually read or looked at them since. But actually, whilst we're here, let's have a little listen to Mayu's charm. Now, this Xbox was crashing every 20 minutes or so. 20 to 40 minutes, something like that. Now, I've played this game for nearly five hours and I've had one crash. <laughs> so, I think it's better... Uh, time will tell, I suppose. One sister kills the other. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound... This doesn't sound fun, does it? Right, so this opens us back up into the projector room. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, let's... Did we have any new films? I honestly can't remember. So we've got film one, which is already there. Film four, I believe we watched film four. Maybe. It's actually a channel called film four, I think, in the UK, which is kind of funny. I can't remember which of these we've watched and which ones we haven't. Uh, but I can let these play whilst I sit here and drink wonderful coffee. Oh, oh God, coffee. Where have you been? Yeah. 
sitting in my cup, I suppose. Okay, so yeah, I mean, obviously using um, unofficial firmware and things like that, you know, you're always going to have the occasional crash and stuff like that, so... So we've got Film Rule 5, Film Rule 2... Film Rule 1 is the one we had, let's check 5. <clears throat> so, you know, every 10 hours of gameplay, I will accept a crash or two, but every 20 minutes, no. I'm not really getting the point of these, I'll be honest, these film reels. Yeah, that's what we saw earlier. The architect killing his wife, I think. Yeah, these film reels don't really do much for me. They're not that interesting, I don't think. Maybe when you have all of them together, they show something, I don't know. It's too hazy and grainy to really make it out. Oh, there we go. That actually gives us a somewhat decent view. So that's the small child that was hiding in the cupboard. Did we find someone in the cupboard? I can't remember. Okay. All right. Well, let's get out of here and start heading upstairs. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. I know there's two doors in the projector's room. <laughs> uh, typical me going the wrong way. Hey, that's what I do. Oh, that's a disappointment. It's a shame that her shadow doesn't cast over the projection, but you know, um, you can't ha you can't have everything in this game. It was very, very uh, old game. Ah, uh, right, let's have a little look up... Ooh, wait, have we been... We've been here before, haven't we? No, miss, maybe? Oh, let's explore, because we finally got our camera back, so... There might be some new stuff. There wasn't... A, was there a big hole there before? Cold air and the low sounds of wind escape through the well. Yeah. That's... That's pretty ominous, having a well just, like, under the stairs like that. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty strange. Ooh, 14. That potentially was a waste. I don't know how much film you get in each pack, but we were... Uh, we already had, like, 84 units of film, so that potentially was a waste. I'm not sure. So what have we got? Now we've got our light and our torch back. We can actually have a good... Ooh, look around. Camera equipment. The zero power-up lens. What does that do? Uh, raises the damage. Ooh, blast back. Spirit power required three. Increases damage. Inflicts heavier damage than normal and enables blast back. Forces the spirit back. Even when it's not a shutter chance. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uses a lot of spirit power, but inflicts heavier damage and blast. Raising the level of this effect. Ah. I like that. Ooh. I received a letter from Mr. Maccabi uh, that said I should leave the village and return home before him. Yai and Sai brought the letter here. They told me that outsiders cannot stay because the festival is coming soon. Mr. Makabe has special permissions to see it. I whisked, whispered, whisked, whisked, I whispered to Yai that I would come for them on the day of the ceremony. Ah, Yai tensed for a moment, then acted as if she hasn't heard and left. It seems that they may really be planning to leave before the ceremony occurs. That means uh, Izuki must still be 
somewhere in the village. So Asuki's the kid that's locked up. I think. Memory serves. Interesting. Um. Gotta remember all the buttons now. So. Let's have a look at the camera. This zero power sounds quite good. Um. Right. Add spirit orbs. Zero. Oh, geez. That's. That's expensive. 1200 points for its base level. Um. I, mm, I don't know if zero. Like. That's the thing. Like, is the first level of zero better than a fully level three blast? I don't know. But, yeah, let's level that up because, you know, more damage is. Always good. All of the boxes are sealed. You can't look inside. What's with... Oh. Ooh, very nice. When... Yeah, sacred water. That's a full hill. Um, which is interesting because, like, the herbal medicines are pretty good. Uh, right. So... Where does this one lead? What... We'll keep seven loaded for now. Ah, the door's locked. All right. Well, let's go back downstairs to that um, corridor. Because that corridor that we unlocked the door with the camera, I think that had extra uh, locked doors as well. So there's plenty of meat on the bone in that area. Um, shit. What door was it? Ah. Oh, ha! Alright, okay. I was like, wait a minute. What's behind door number two? Ah, nothing. Door's locked. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's keep going. Haven't had any ghosts for a while. Uh, although, admittedly, I say we haven't had any ghosts for a while. We actually had quite a section where we... Ooh, should we go save it? Yes. Um, I don't... I'm kind of confident that the hard drive is fine, but yeah, not really. <laughs> I'll, I'll believe it once I've played all the way through this game and maybe something else and it hasn't been crashing constantly. So um, I'll meet you guys back here once I've saved. Okay. So I think I'm going to cut out the... Um, save room stuff from now on because it does take a decent amount of time to save this game okay so oh we have blue we have blue on the filament so where's that let's go in here and have a poker oh the door. Oh right, I remember. Yeah, because this is where we were running away from what's the name. We had all these shut doors. I remember things about stuff sometimes. Now what is through here? The presence you are feeling in front of the door is gone now. Good. Right, let's have a little poke around in here, meow. Ah. Uh, oof. I was going to say game. I, I thought it crashed. Right, what have we got in here? There isn't anything in the half-open drawer. Well, that's no good. Oh, there's a stone mirror. That's worth remembering. In the uh, Tachibana twins room. Right. That's absolutely worth remembering. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, that's now just like swan open more, even though you could already see it glowing. Interesting. Okay. This room's interesting. Nicely detailed. Ooh. What do we have here? Crimson Diary 3. A red book is lying on the white cushion. Izuki told me to hold the key for his room. He said that I can't let anybody go in there. 
He said, if his friend comes, to give the key to his friend. I'm so happy that he gave me such an important job. <laughs> okay. Uh, Azuki's friend came to the house. I was scared, so I hid. I couldn't give him the key. Ooh. So you had one job, and you failed. Ooh. You failed. What do we got here? Well, whatever it was, we missed. Come on, meow. You'd be more accurate with that camera. It's our male twin. So, that's the guy that hid, I guess. Interesting. So, it's kind of his fault. Many offerings have been placed on the altar like shelf. Maybe this room was used as some kind of ritual. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Any other goodies for us? In quite a good little room for goodies. Some old candles and talismans stored in the drawer. Okay. Well, candles are always good. I do like candles. Oh, yeah, that's a stone mirror. Which we cannot pick up. So, what's through this door? Another blue filament moment. Ah. All way of contrast. Right. And we can't go through that room, I guess. Alright. So this... This is looking a little lonely and deprived. Okay. Oh, right, the door. Which door? Oh, it's that door. Cool, so we can actually bust this one open. Sweet. Yeah, you know, really good thing that we got this camera obscura. Because we'd be kind of boned without it. Let's be honest here. <clears throat> right. Now, we have unlocked that. But... Oh, we haven't been in this room at all. Let's have a little poke inside, shall we? Oh, we've got some st stairs going up. Why do I get the feeling we're going to have spookies in here? Another sacred water. Okay. Do we want to go up and explore here first? Uh, I don't know. So, that's the clock hall. Um, I mean, that door's already open anyway, and we haven't really explored anything down here. That leads back to the entrance. Right, yeah, because that's the area that we got attacked by the three ghosts, if I remember correctly. But there wasn't actually three ghosts in here. So we need to remember that we can go up to the clock hall. Uh, looks like there's potentially another couple of corridors here as well. But before we explore there, let's uh, explore all of our other options first. Because that being locked up is ob Ooh. <laughs> obviously an indicator that we need to um, explore there. So, I saw Asuki's sister uh, in the corridor. She is usually frightened of strangers, runs away and hides, but today was different. It seems that she wanted to tell me something, but she ran away without saying a word. Maybe Asuki left a message with her. Right, yeah, and then he goes and uh, tries to talk to her and she hides. Oh. I mean, the children in this this place were under quite a lot of pr uh, pressure. They seemed to be very aware that something bad was going to happen to them. Which is pretty creepy. Especially in a setting like this, where you know, really, that there's no one... No one's coming to help you. So you either let it happen, which is not good advice... Or you make your own um, ways out of the area, which, yeah, that didn't really go down well for everybody, did it? Okay. 
any other goodies. Now this, these areas did have stuff in them, if we remember correctly. But it looks like we've already harvested most of that stuff. So that leads us to here. Yeah. Which will lead us through this other room. Not quite feeling as vulnerable now. Now we have the ability to protect ourselves. Oh, didn't it? Wasn't there something mentioned here before? Or maybe we picked up an item in there before. I can't remember. Hmm. I do like the whole Japanese um, aesthetic. It's really nice. They have a very unique um, architecture that is very pleasing. It's very alien. It's very different to what we're used to over here in the West, but it's really nice. Now, this is the room that had loads of enemies. Ah, they are still here. All right. All right. All right. Maybe that wasn't the best maneuver. Would have been nice to be able to fight maybe one of them. But no, looks like we're going to go for all three. That's all right. Line them up. We've got... They're coming, they're coming through the walls. Okay, we've we've got space to maneuver, so it's okay. Ooh, All right, let's do some damage. Might be worth going for a more powerful type of film, but I don't know about that. Come on, you! You gonna you gonna do something? You gonna make something happen? Nah, he's not gonna make nothing happen. Alright, uh, if we come out of this unscathed, I'm going to be pretty impressed, I'll be honest. Let's go for one of them. Ooh, triple. Well, that did some damage. I think. Possibly. Yeah, we're getting some good points here, but... We're not doing a crazy amount of damage. Come on. There we go. Get right into his face. Get you. Double. Double. There you go. That's what we're talking about. That's charged our power back up anyway. So we're hitting with one of them. Nice little place to earn some points, I'll be honest. Right. Let's get right into their faces. Give them a blast. Not quite enough. Okay, we got the kill shot. Only killed one of them though. Let's finish him off. Oh no, he's got quite a chunk of health left actually. This guy can be baited. Kind of. Sort of. Not really a fan of how we've got one behind and one in front of us. Definitely not a fantastic position to be in. Now, can we group these guys back together? It's almost like these ones, the ones that just have a single-handed weapon. They don't really seem to attack. Whereas these guys will go down, up, attack, and you can blast them quite easily with a double hit for massive amounts of points, whereas these guys just seem to circle around you. Oh! So they're opportunists, I guess. They're kind of circling and go at you if the opportunity arises. Come on, let's get a zero shot. Ah, oh, fuck you. He's disappearing into the wall. Don't hide in the wall, dude. That's it. Down, up, boom, baby. He's done. Cool. Oh, very nice. We've got some herbal medicine. We actually did that without getting hit, which uh, I'm quite surprised about. Now, I think we actually generated an awful lot of points there. So let's go and have a little look. 28,000 points. 
Ooh, wait a minute. We could, yeah, we need to do up our accumulation because we need three. You know what? Because we're so close to being able to get that to max level, I think we're just going to save it for now. We'll power up our range completely. Um, okay, let's go in that case. Let's go back. And where does this one lead? That's the, yeah, because that's the little room. Let's go back, drop a save. And then we can continue up the stairs. Now, I wonder if that's going to unlock any more enemies. It might do. Because sometimes when you, like, uh, engage in some combat in this game, it kind of rattles the ghosts up, you know? Uh, not sure if it's going to happen here, but... We shall see. Inf... Ooh. Look at those jingles. I think that's the music. Yeah, that's the music. Right, well, to be honest, we're on, like, 28 minutes. So, I might just leave this one here. Or we're on like 26 minutes. So unless... Unless there's something up at the clock tower, we could go back through this room quickly. Actually, before we save it, let's go back through that room. Anything here? No. Let's go see if there's uh, extra rooms down. Ah! There is little offshoots. Right, cool. Herbal medicine. Don't mind if I do. Anything else further down? Oh, right. Yeah, we remember this. So this is a bizarre little room. That's the other side to where we've already come through. All right, cool. Fair, at least we cleared that up. Uh, so, that door there leads back to the save room. But we filled the map out a bit. Right, I'm going to save it here, guys. I'm going to call this a video. Um, these two parts of the saving uh, with the break in between. And when we come back, well, I guess we're going to go upstairs and see what's hidden there. Um, possibly a boss, possibly something cool is going to happen, I don't know. But thanks for watching guys, and as always, till next time.